As we consider the 1970s and move into the 1980s, our approach to government and leadership can be summed up in three words, pride, vision, and accomplishment. Pride in what our community is, vision for what our community can be, and dedication to accomplishing those things necessary to make our visions reality. Former East Brunswick Mayor William Fox died on Thursday, March 16th at St. Peter's University Hospital at the age of 78. After moving to East Brunswick in 1968, Mr. Fox worked on the campaign for Mayor Jean Walling and was eventually appointed to fill the remainder of Walling's term after her passing in 1975. He was elected in his own right in 1976 and served a total of 13 and a half years, making him the longest tenured mayor in East Brunswick's history. He is remembered fondly by all those who had the pleasure of working with him. I have fond memories of him because he was a person who, when he talked to you, uh, looked you in the eye, uh, was willing to listen and, and uh, have an open dialogue. And because of his academic uh, understanding, he wanted to see, not on an emotional basis, but he wanted to see facts and figures. He was willing to look at the numbers and, and let them justify the position. Now, numbers didn't always justify the position because he wanted to also look at what was right. Back at that point in time, uh, one of the big issues was the how does one deal with garbage? And, and there were real questions on how would a community relieve itself of all this solid waste, particularly a growing community that had a lot of solid waste. And, and the technology of the time was suggesting that install a mass burner, burn the garbage, and uh, generate and allow everybody from all the region to bring their garbage to East Brunswick and burn it. Uh, and the trade-off would be a lot of dollars that would be given to the town. Uh, Bill Fox looked at that and said, do we want to be known as East Brunswick, the garbage center of New Jersey, uh, and take all of New York City's garbage and Jersey City? And, uh, and he said, no, we're not going to permit a mass burning facility within our political boundaries. And, and that proved to be not only a, a correct decision at the time, but in retrospect, as you look at the history of that, uh, those facilities have uh, defaulted on their bonds. They've not proven to be high technology. They've been known to be polluters. And, and they have simply passed by the wayside because they're not effective. Uh, but in lieu of that, uh, working with the county, the solid waste that's brought to the landfill on Edgeboro Road was limited to community and county solid waste. And I think Mayor Fox uh, is instrumental in uh, changing that image. What will you consider some of the most memorable moments during your administration? So high points, uh, you know, I did a whole bunch of weddings. I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I, I enjoyed seeing things done. And Thank you. Um, and and we were an activist uh, uh, administration. Now, uh, fairly conservative because I believe pretty strongly that there are some things the government should do and and be involved in that others can't, and there are other things the government probably shouldn't do. Um, uh, there, there are some of the recreational things that have been done since then that I probably would not have done. Now, I, I would have been wrong, I think, but but I have a fairly uh, conservative view of the role of government in, in people's lives. I think he will be remembered. He will be logged as uh, the longest uh, existing mayor in the community. But uh, I hope people understand he was a quality person. He had quality ideas. And uh, he was committed to the residents uh, being mayor uh, is not glamorous in a small town. Uh, there are a lot of people tugging on you, saying, I need this, I want that. He received that graciously. Quality, graciousness, and integrity. Uh, I would like to have him be remembered in that respect. For we who lead 
We must not let our pride in what has been accomplished become a substitute for the continued striving to improve. We must not let our dreams become fantasies, and we must not accomplish only for the sake of accomplishment. So as we move forward, let us constantly remind ourselves of these three things, pride in what our community is, vision for what our community can be, and dedication to the accomplishment of those things necessary to make our vision a reality.